Are you looking to waste thousands of dollars on a pile of trash that probably barely runs? Are you looking to be stranded on the side of the road and everyone taking photos of you, not because you have a cool car, but because you have a steaming pile of donkey doo-doo? Well then, one of these cars is probably for you. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. And today we are gonna be taking a look at some cars that you guys sent me that are currently for sale on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. Uh, we're, as you heard from the beginning, not looking at some pretty good cars today. We're looking at some piles of trash that you probably don't want to be associated with. It's like that relative that does some questionable things on the internet. Don't want to be related to them at all, but shit happens. Anyways, um, today we're going to be taking a look at these. If you guys want to submit any or see any for sale, send them to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, first car. Ooh, already in the AutoZone parking lot. Gotta love that. He said... Why not take the photos where it all began? We got a 2012 Honda CRZ EX Coupe two door. Controversial opinion. I like how these cars look. I think that they have kind of a sleek egg shape that I'm a fan of. It's kind of small, but tapers. I don't know. I weirdly like them. I don't think I'd ever own one, but I weirdly like them. Oh my God. What is that? It looks like it's wearing a COVID mask. What? What, what is that? Weird mesh grill. Okay. So 90% of his mods look like they came from the AutoZone parking lot. He has a fake hood scoop. He has a tow hook which may or may not be real license plate frame that is hollow um wide body flares tire lettering stickers weather guards vortex generators blue ugly wheels that would only be sold by auto zoner pet boys um plastic dip badges that's fucking another tow hook on the rear sick ass sponsors going down the side although one would think if you had a brembo sticker you would have brembos on it but those look like um pieces of shit it's got an Enki sticker, doesn't have Enki wheels, uh, has Pirelli sticker, doesn't have Pirellis. It's almost like that thing is all made up, right? He doesn't have any photos of the interior, sadly. I would really like to see underneath the hood as well, but based on the exterior, I can bet that underneath the hood is poorly maintained and or has a k &N intake. And then the interior probably has some more tacky mods. This car works at 100 small authentic details. Cool, yeah, no, seems great. Um, I will compliment him for him having wide body flares. He's got he's got decent fitment on that. I'll give him that. But uh the wheels discuss everything. Everything he did to this car horrible. Horrible. Now how much is he asking? He's asking $6500 and it has 115,000 miles. I don't know the reliability on these cars. I don't know if they're if they're worth that, but um if you're looking for a cool sick build that uh will definitely snap next, this is the car for you. Next car is a 2008 Nissan 350Z, driven at 70,000 kilometers, so not many miles on that, especially if it's from 2008. Now, he's asking 40 racks for this bad boy, and I don't know why. Um, looking at this car, this first photo, we see a chassis-mounted freaking wing on that bad boy. Uh, it is a drop top, so... At least here, it seems that you don't want a drop top. I don't know if maybe in uh, the British Columbia or something, they don't care. But here, here in America, you don't want that drop top. That drop top is a sign that you got the wrong trim level. He has a carbon fiber hood with hood pins. Might be a smart move. But at the same time, usually, I'm not even going to say anything like that. Now, you know, what? I will. But at the same time, typically hoods that have vents don't have the flutter effect it can still happen but i've had no flutter with my super hood and it has vents so i'm thinking that that's why it is this front bumper though what the fuck is that what is that what is that that looks fucking god awful and this weird color scheme that he's got going on he's got maroon red slash purple with bright red with white with i guess black if you're counting as carbon oh sick throwing up gang signs you know fucking throwing that shit up it's a big wing. It just really amplifies how big it is. It says dream, design, deliver. This is a nightmare. This is no dream. He has a veil side sticker on it. Spider, white line, magna, oh, magna flow. I was like, magna low. <laughs> oh God, this interior even gets worse. Harnesses. Okay, let's see if he has them connected to a harness bar. Oh, it doesn't show. I'm going to say no. Uh, the seats, I don't know why I'm expecting to see more angles of them, but they look okay. Probably not anything real. I don't know what he did to his center console, but th that's just god awful. It, it literally, and I've said this joke before, but it looks like a bunch of used tampons. I've usually said it when shit's just red and white, but those look like 
crumbled up tampons or something. It just doesn't look good. And they're red and white. So I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's also an automatic, not desirable. But what motor is in this bad boy? It's a 2008, so it's an HR. You know what? That's a little bit more desirable. For some reason, I thought we were looking at a, a, a fucking non-HR car, but at least we got that. Wheels, spiky lug nuts, straight defense right there. Anyone gets too close, you, just, you know, give him a little give him a little wheel smack with that, and he'll uh, make him go to the hospital. Brembo sticker. Once again, no Brembos. Sad to see. But at least... He's asking a fair price of $40,000 for this bad boy. Why would you ask that much? I can't imagine he gets half that. I I don't think he'd get half that. It does have low mileage, but it is butchered beyond recognition. Like, that thing is disgusting. The description says, feel free to send offers. Needs a new safety switch for vert roof to function properly. But other than that, never had an issue with the car. Been babied and took to shows. HR motor, ton of fun. Was hoping to TT it, but got to move and... Go on to more practical things. Yeah, I, I don't think you were planning on TTing it. And even if it had some TTs, still wouldn't be worth 40 grand. Sorry. Not every day we get to see exotics on here, right? So we got a 1993 Porsche Carrera GT replica. Super sweet. And it's halfway decent. If you gave me like five shots, I'd probably think that's a Carrera GT until I saw that. <laughs> that doesn't it look like, like fenders, hood, bumper. If you just like crop out the rest, I don't know why I'm thinking that this is having any effect on you guys, but if I block out some of it, it kind of looks like it. Um, but then, you know, you wake up from that nightmare and you're in bed with a two and that two has a penis. Not a pleasant night. Anyways, unless you like that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> this car is, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's bad. Um, and I was wondering when I was looking at this, I was like, I wonder what the donor, donor car is. Is it an MR2? Is it a Fiero? You know, he's got an Elder Brock sticker on it. As if that makes any sense for it being a Porsche, a Carrera. But um, cool little steering wheel. Got the buttons, a little, little NOS buttons from Fast and Furious. Pachoo! you know super sick uh interior you know you got that uh automatic shift lever i had that same gear select knob on my malibu when the when the factory one went out oh my god it was fake carbon too i think i still have it like in like a memory box somewhere of like oh look at you know remember this uh it didn't even work that well like i had to like really press on it, it was bad anyways oh fiero look at that cool got a little pontiac fiero Converted into a sick, sick Porsche, super expensive car for a fraction of the price and a fraction of the performance and everything else. Um, well, ain't that a looker right there? It looks like it's wearing sunglasses. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Let's see what the real Porsche Carrera GT bumper looks like. Yeah, it's a far cry from what we just saw. Um, that looks good. Like, that looks great. Not so much. Think you're missing some stuff there. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's not what we got here. It's not bad though. I mean, it's got some panel gap issues, but uh, it's not bad. You could fool like a, a newborn. Uh, he's asking nineteen thousand dollars. Don't think it's gonna happen. I don't really even want to read this. If you really want to read it, go for it. He said sales were thirty-seven thousand and forty-five thousand. One of them sold for twenty-eight thousand, but had no interior. This one's got it all. Okay. All right. I'm um, good. Good. Good luck with that, sir. I'd like to see it happen. It's in Newport. Oh my God, I should go look at it. Comment down below. Should I go buy this car? I will not buy it, but I'd be interested to go look at it. Are those Mustang wheels? All right, let's move on. Next car, 2001 Toyota Celica GTS hatchback two-door coupe. And he's asking way over market for this bad boy. They're, they're saying, hey, buddy, this is a $8,400 car max on a good day. If you scam someone, he's got it for $10,500. He's trying to profit on some poor sucker. I've never seen the old Xbox sticker on a car before, but there it is. Uh, this car looks like Hulk jizzed on it. Looks like Hulk just went to fucking town. Probably in that little hole right there. Uh, but uh, yeah, just demolished it. Just straight up demolished it. It's got a Xbox sticker, InGen, NOS, Alpine. It's got all the, the heavy hitters of the early 2000s. Got some more shit on the hood. Rays can't see the rest it's kind of scribbly yeah I, I don't know who thought that the drippy effect was a good idea but it definitely wasn't definitely wasn't that did not age well maybe in early no i can't even imagine in early 2000s that being cool to anyone older than the age of six this isn't a cool car and i think even six-year-olds now look at this thing and are probably like that's fucking ugly i don't doubt it uh the wheels are god awful they just look heavy as shit this thing probably lost 40 horsepower from that alone 
It's got giant subs, big screen in the back, getting roasted by the sun day in and day out. It says, if you touch my car, I touch your girlfriend. I don't know how I was able to read that, but I was. And that's sexual harassment. The interior, I mean, if you love green or you're colorblind, this would be the car for you. This thing is fucking disgusting. I want to read his description. Show car, Lamborghini doors, custom air suspension, each wheel independently, custom stereo system with three 12-inch speakers, original 10,000 miles. 10,000 miles, that's pretty good. Never ran in rain or snow. Custom air intake, chrome engine work, strut bar. Just sounds like people just reading off a random like list of car parts. Neon lights underneath and inside on separate switches. Sick. Why are you asking 10,000 for it? <laughs> this is a $4,000 car. In its current condition, uh, 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 an actual Celica with 10,000 miles, you might be able to get $10,000 for. In this current condition, four thousand dollars to some chump who just needs a car it'd probably run forever though all right next car 2012 chevy camaro 3.6 lfx six speed custom i love it when they put custom in the title you know you're about to look at a work of art fifteen thousand dollars for this bad boy and it's pretty high i mean I, you could buy a 5.0 mustang 2013 2014 for probably the same price so Definitely would go for that over this, even if I was a Camaro fanboy, because take a look at this bad boy. Now, a lot of people might be blinded by the red wheels and be like, oh, this guy painted his stock wheels red. This is a outrage, you know? I see past the red wheels. Don't get fooled by the illusions. Caliper covers. Don't get fooled by it. I see them. Caliper covers. Hate it. Fucking hate it. Garbage. Um, beyond that, he's got quad tip exhaust, he's got window louvers, which, if you are going to do window louvers, I like this style more, the classic style, that's not so in your face, not looking like ABS plastic, they might be ABS plastic, but these look a little bit more streamlined, thin, like aluminum, you know, I like that. He's got a giant wicker bill underneath the hood, oh, look at that intake right there, big old silicone coupler, and a nice red painted engine cover with a BMR strut tower brace, sponsored by Mobile One. The interior, he has a similar theme to the Celica by painting everything a certain color. It's his theme, you know, it's red. He's angry all the time. Oh, I love hot sauce. Um, the interior has red throughout, fake carbon fiber, red spray paint. Y you know, oh, he's got his finger in it too. You know, whenever you spray paint something, like it, it always has this weird feeling, like it doesn't feel right. So every time he picks up that handbrake, you know, he just has like this weird, like sticky feeling. Like I... Ugh, no, it's just gonna wear off too. The oils in your skin are gonna fuck it. And then he sprayed it. <sighs> he spray painted the steering wheel controls so you can't even see the buttons. So whatever sore sucker buys this car can't tell which is the cruise control and which is the volume button. He's gonna rear end somebody trying to turn up Lady Gaga. This is bullshit. This is an outrage. Does he have a Corvette badge in the background? Why does he have Corvette badges in the background? I don't mind fifth gens. Like, I think you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot if you buy one because it's not gonna be fast. Yeah, see, you can barely see the steering wheel buttons. Barely, garbage. Um, but yeah, it's like you buy a fifth gen you're going to be slower than a 6th gen with full bolt-ons, even if you supercharge yours. I, I don't think you're... I mean, unless you really, like, crank it up and turn up the power. Like, it's just... It's a big, heavy brick. It's just all it is. I think they look cool, you know? I don't mind it. I, I know my buddy, he has a 900-wheel horsepower one. I've never raced it, never seen it in person, but he has photos of it, and it is clean. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. Let's read his descriptions. One owner with over $10,000 in upgrades... <laughs> spray paint ain't gonna buy itself right v6 with six speed manual has oem zl1 front end z28 rear wing new exhaust cold air intake engine tune has sunroof 20 inch powder coated rims custom painted interior oh, i fucking hate that word custom custom painted that means i went to home depot and bought a rattle can now it's custom um blah 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 ss gauges dude with all this money if you actually spent ten thousand dollars in upgrades you should have just saved that $10,000 and just bought an SS. It just blows my mind. Never abused. I also find that very hard to believe. You know, you, you see a guy that's obviously making his car look like a race car. You already know this guy pulls up to a light and there's an SS next to him. He's revving that shit. You already know it. There's no reason not to. You have a tuned car with a cold air intake and exhaust. It's never been abused. You ain't fooling nobody, Jerry. I don't know if your name's Jerry, but you ain't fooling nobody. 
Next car, we have a 2010 Nissan Maxima SV sedan. Let's get this one over with. All right, we got a sad boy. <sighs> Nissan Maxima. Let me get into the, the emo theme of the car. What's up? I'm selling my 2010 Nissan Maxima SV sedan. Buy it or not. I don't really care. So I built this car because my mom gave it to me when I was 16. And, um, you know, it was pretty cool. It was pretty quick, honestly. Like, you know, I messed with a few muscle cars. Um, what I did to it, though, was, was pretty unique. I uh, took off the bumper and sprayed the, the bash bar support. It's a little touch, you know. I like to personalize my things. I don't want to blend in with the crowd, you know. don't want to be another fish in the sea. Um, it's cool, though, because only I know what's there. You know, when I put the bumper back on, you can't see anything that I spray painted. So it's a little custom touch, you know. And in, 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 in the next owner, he'll have a little surprise when he takes that off. Be cool. Uh, it's got a front lip on it with some struts and uh, offset license plate. You know, don't want to blend in with the crowd, obviously. Uh, the interior, now this, this is where my favorite stuff goes in because this is where I spend all my time. Um, got a quick disconnect, which is pretty cool. Got it from uh, Wish.com for 50 bucks. And then um, this is my favorite because I like anime. Got a samurai on my automatic. So when I go into drive, I feel like I'm slashing my wrist i meant slashing uh the enemies of my pain um spray painted the interior red to be super original you know ain't nobody on this earth has that oh wait this is wrong car um yeah so super original nobody's ever done that before changing the game i got a red bandana here because you know i am a whatever that means pandem just love what they do got to support them you know got it got to give them some money got some paddles on this bad boy you know a little blip you know, whoa, whoa, boom, you know it's pretty quick i think it's a twin disc pretty custom i didn't paint them red yet though it's coming soon the the engine bay uh they ran out of red so i went with highlighter green because um stands out from the crowd don't want to blend in with the rest of the fish you know but yeah you know um i just like being low-key you know matte black giant wing ugly exhaust cambered out i just like being low-key you know don't want to blend in with the rest of the fish and then I got my little broken hearts on the back just so the baddies know when I pass them that I too have feelings and I too don't want to blend in with the rest of the fish. Text me more information. Bro, that's your job. Give me more information. Send me your best offers. Car has some aftermarket parts. Will come with stock seats. Needs alignment. Uh, gee, I wonder if it really does need that alignment after all. Look at that shit. Needs alignment and tires, battery, car to start and run. God, this thing doesn't even run. Thank you for looking. He's asking six grand for 200,000 miles. This dude's tripping. That car has been driven, homie. Well, anyways, if you want a sad boy sedan, that's the car for you. Last car, 2007 Nissan 350. Oh, this is the other 350 I saw. I knew I had a 350 in the episode. Um, This one, he's asking 10 grand. And um, let's see if it's worth it. So... You're going to cringe a lot on this car. Uh, so he has it <laughs> Joker themed and it is straight from the early 2000s. When did the Dark Knight come out? So fresh off the slot, this guy went out, <laughs> saw the Dark Knight life altering experience to this day has not lived it down. The Joker is the number one character in his life. He role plays as him in bed. Why so serious? You want to see a magic trick? I'm going to make this cock disappear, you know, <laughs> like shit like that. Uh, 100%. Now, he is the president. I don't know of what, but uh, of clowns, maybe. But uh, yeah, we got the Joker and we got more Joker and more Joker and well, no Joker in this photo. Oh, he's got a photo of his car and more Joker. And then he's got why so serious backwards for some reason. I'm not going to lie. That looks like someone that would wrap his car as a Joker. I don't know if he's the owner. I'm just saying. And underneath the hood, though, it's actually clean. And it's an HR, but it has 130,000 miles on it. I think the Joker and Deadpool are the most chosen and favorable character for theming your car after. I've seen so many Joker-themed cars and so many Deadpool-themed cars. I also like this guy's license plate. It's actually pretty clever. 350Z. I like that. If you used that brain power for the rest of the car, you probably wouldn't be trying to sell it for 10 grand. It'd probably be worth way more. But I mean, like, if you took off the wrap, honestly, it's probably a clean car underneath. So 
Someone needs to come scoop this thing. Unless that's paint. Let's check. Looking for trades mostly, but cash is king. The car runs great with 130,000 kilometers. Auto with a slap shift. The AC blows ice cold. Was red originally. Has been wrapped passion purple gloss with a full hood wrap of the Joker. Also has Nismo wrap bumper and LED underglow. A mood lighting inside the car. Has 20 inch chip foos rims. Funny enough, I had those exact wheels, except in gray, on the Mustang when I bought it. They came with them. I wouldn't have chosen them, but I definitely wouldn't have chosen them on a 350Z. Then again, look at the rest of the car. Recently had new brakes put on all around, but nothing will stop me. The interior is in great condition. Lots of carbon fiber pieces added and a double din radio. I need more room because I have kids. Pull out game weak as fuck. I'm in no hurry to get rid of it. But for the right trade or cash offer, I will. Also has a clean Ohio title. Interested in Camaros, Chargers, G37s, which is the same fucking car. Or just offers what you got. Don't waste my time. Don't waste his time. Definitely don't waste his time. He will fucking kill you. Uh, he said he had carbon fiber. Oh, it's like overlays. Anyways, $10,000, probably not that bad. Anyways, guys, that is all I got for you for today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know down below. Send me shitty cars that you see for sale. We will make another video on this. Obviously, you guys like this. Which car out of these would you pick, though, to drive? If I had to choose one of them, I'd probably say the Joker car. Honestly, the Joker car... Yeah, I'd take the Joker car of a V6 Camaro. I would take it. Fuck it. Drive the Joker around. Anyways, guys, subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.